Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering heat flow within Earth. The objectives of this lesson is to develop a model based on evidence to describe the cycling of matter by thermal convection. Use mathematics to calculate heat conduction through stone and metal and to explain how thermal convection is related to the movement of tectonic plates and the formation of earth magnetic field. So my question to you, what are some different ways that earth warms its surface? Over time, earth went from being completely molten to the mostly solidified crust and mantle we see today. Heat is continually being released from cooling planet like hot soap, cookies, etc. Cooling after being removed from the microwave, oven, and so on. The lines on the map show tectonic plates boundaries and the red triangles are volcanoes. My question to you are where would you expect to find heat coming up from the cooling inside of Earth? Volcanoes and divergent plates boundaries because the molten material is coming up through, through these cracks in Earth surface. Then we will talk about probing Earth interior. What is the difference between P waves and S waves? P waves are compression waves that travel through all parts of Earth. And the S waves are transverse waves that only travel through the rigid layers of Earth. What do you think will happen to both S waves as they travel through Earth? The P waves will go all the way through Earth and the S wave will stop when they hit a liquid core. Both types of waves travel through Earth crust and mantle and get refracted due to the varying distances and densities and temperature of the material. Only P waves will travel through the core getting refracted along the way. Speed and amplitude of the waves as they are read from different locations on Earth surfaces can allow scientists to determine the composition, layers, and temperatures within Earth. Earth composition. Addition to seismic waves, scientists also study the gravitational and magnetic fields to form a more in-depth picture of Earth. As you can see from the image, density typically increase with depth and make up of the layer. Why are the material denser in the middle of the planet? You should answer this question. Here we can say how he travels from the inner core through each of the layers. The question is, where does the heat in the inner core come from? Half of the heat comes from adiabatic compression, which means increasing in pressure equals increasing in temperature. And other half come from radioactive decay of long-lived isotopes such as uranium, thorium and potassium. We will talk about heat conduction and melting. We will study the role of rate of heat conduction. Thermal energy travels better through the steel than in granite. How can you use the graphs to understand where melting of rock will occur? 
mantle convection and then here we will discuss mantle convection the rocks uh, are viscous and that it can flow under the right condition and it has high viscosity compared to water which uh, has very low viscosity mantle convection and plate tectonics core convection and magnetism we'll 